I want to get the thoughts now of uh, Annie Fixler, Deputy Director of the Foundation for Defence of Democracies Centre on Cyber and Technology Innovation. Very good to talk to you, Annie Fixler. Well, tell me then, do you ag agree with that in terms of uh, the ranking threat? We've got Russia, China and then Iran in third position in terms of cyber threats. Sure. I, thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, in general, yes, I think that that's an accurate way to rank the threats, Russia and China being your most pervasive, most dangerous and most capable adversaries. I would add North Korea, of course, to that mix. Um, and yes, it is accurate to say that Iran's capabilities do not match those of Russia and China. But I think we underestimate them at, at our um, at our peril, they are able to do significant damage with less sophisticated capabilities. Um, at, attacking the, the UK national infrastructure would be a, a significant demonstration of capabilities um, and of intent, of intent to do damage using cyber means. Is there any evidence uh, of them employing these capabilities, um, limited uh, as they may be, at the United States? Sure, certainly. I mean, dating back to 2000, the, the time frame between 2011 and 2013, um, Iranian hackers unleashed, unleashed DDoS attacks, distributed denial of service attacks against 46 U.S. financial institutions and caused millions, tens of millions of dollars worth of damage. And that was one of their first forays into cyber warfare. Um, and then um, we've seen attacks since then. Um, as, as some of your packages have noted, the um, indictments against Iranian hackers for hitting um, 100 and, uh, 150 U.S. universities, 30 U.S. companies, um, companies around the world. Uh, there have been reports um, the damage that Iranian hackers have done. These are state-backed hackers. Um, these are hundreds of millions of dollars worth of damage. So um, certainly Iran has set its sights on a number of targets. Um, we've seen in the past couple of years that most of their targets have been their regional um, regional rivals. Saudi Arabia has certainly been a prime target of Iranian hacking, um, but they are not confined to the region and they are not confined to um, uh, to their regional uh, adversaries. They're certainly targeting the United States um, and our allies. And, but of course we do know it's a two-way street, don't we? Uh, several years back, wasn't it, that... Uh... Iran and its uh, developing nuclear capabilities were attacked by this Stuxnet virus. Yes, that is, that is true. And um, which and that virus, I believe, has never been um, formally uh, attributed to any nation. Um, there have been reports that it was a U.S. capable, um, U.S. directed initiative um, targeting the Iranian nuclear program, which at the time was rapidly progressing. Iran was demonstrating capabilities to install more advanced centrifuges to stockpile uranium that um, at low grade, uh, low enriched um, levels, but with a, a couple additional spins of the centrifuges could have been weapons grade. So there's certainly a, a significant threat of, the, um, of Iran's nuclear program and, and cyber may be one of the means that the US and its allies used to um, degrade some of those capabilities. Well, great to get your thoughts and analysis, Annie Fixler. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much.